this is again a question and then the answer says they are accepting positive answer yeah danke wir so wir is coming here that means we and uh, something like we had a lot of fun is what the in english meaning when we have to write that we are and in the past tense had right we had so hatten hatten is a past tense and it is also suiting with we are so this seems to be correct let's see the other options waren waren is also again in the past but still it's not suiting to the meaning of the sentence grammatically sounds also false haben we are haben haben is like something in the something that is happening we have right we have fun or we are having fun that's where we will use haben so this is also again wrong sind we are we are so it doesn't make sense we are fun or we are having fun also not correct so the most correct one is we had if somebody is asking in the past tense how was your experience in the park and you have to also answer like we had so this is a correct one was brauchen wir für das kinderzimmer so what do we need for the kid kids room wir kaufen so this somebody is asking what do we need for the kids room and we are going to buy a tish so a tish tish is again uh, masculine so eine is wrong this is not a feminine so eine is wrong einen tish sounds good because here it is tish we buy a table okay so einen tisch sounds correct we cannot say we are buying not a table right kind is not the correct one and again ein is not the suitable one because it's table and masculine so we have to use accusative so einen is the most correct one let's see the answer okay Magst du morgen mit uns ins Kino? Magst du morgen mit uns Kino? Are you going to do together to cinema? Are you going to come together to cinema? So answer is no. Unfortunately, no. Nein, leider. So you are saying no, unfortunately, and then I. will work tomorrow so let's see what suits best here nine lida no unfortunately when you say unfortunately and then here is must no unfortunately i want to work doesn't sound good because working is not a lot of fun so we will definitely not say must but grammatically it is correct okay but meaningful is it's not making the correct meaning kan nein leider kann ich morgen arbeiten it's also does not suit here because there is no ist maybe you can say nein ich kann nicht morgen arbeiten or something like that would sound okay but here it is not matching leider kann ich morgen arbeiten is wrong again will nine lida will ich morgen arbeiten again does not make sense because it says lida unfortunately okay so if you are doing it on your own wish then probably you can use will but in this sentence it shows you are not interested to work so you have to use here the next one must muss lida Nein, leider muss ich morgen arbeiten. Is the most suitable one and correct one. Grammatically, also it is correct, and it's also making more meaning because of the word no. Unfortunately, I must work tomorrow morning. So muss. Ich fahre um acht Uhr. 
so i will travel at 8 am i will drive at 8 am on one do so we have to say here do do is there it's not a c form do form do form you know you have to conjugate you have to find the correct conjugation so this one is wrong this is more for the conjugation of ish right the sentence has to fill here it sounds like the person is answering i must travel at 8 30. because of do we have, we have to find the most suitable conjugated one st right one first two this is the most suitable one just with a conjugation so let's select with that in shuldigum who sind who here the toilet in so somebody ask excuse me where are the toilets here so someone has to say the direction and they are saying it is the trip runta undan links so saying uh, it's under the uh, steps and then links and then go to the left side the other person says Vildang. okay let's see which one suits most suitably here 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 see again the trepo runta on the links doesn't sound correct it's not matching here again see here the trepo runta on the links it's making signs and it matches here here see again you don't start a sentence like this but you could start like this one right this is a correct way of forming it the verb and uh, here and then it matches with the remaining sentence here and this one is not making any sense because there is no c we can avoid this again here c is also wrong because again c here is the correct one Again, here see it's not the correct order of words. So again, see here. You might get confused whether this one is correct. Here see gain is also not wrong because here is coming in front. So select gain see here. This is the most correct one. Let's see this check the answers at the end. Here the sentence states like hello, her, Maya. So there is a respect form here. Then there is a question which form of question it should also have a respect form and this person also answers with respect danke good und ihnen both are using very good uh, respectful form so let's start which one has the most respect form so uh, directly we could avoid this we get as dear so this is not having the center the respect form and it is not matching with her maya so this is wrong again this is also wrong here also it's not making a question we gain it's not a proper question it has the respectful c form but it's not making correct meaning here so we get as enen that's a question form and a proper sentence matching here so let's select is to gain ice do you like to eat ice somebody says yes positive answer ish you could say yeah when you say yes i like ice let's see which one say makes sense here i could see all the words are conjugated and matching grammatically but what makes more sense yeah i make eyes doesn't make or sound good it sounds like work and it, yeah i like to buy eyes something doesn't make sense here to the sentence somebody is asking do you eat eyes then you have to say yes i like right so this mark again suha is search kauf is buy maka is making mark is is mark i like maka is again make so mark is the most correct one 
Quant is mal bitte ear telephone benutzen. Can I make use of your telephone? Somebody says yes. Positive answer. And then which one is more suitable? Danke Ihnen. Does it make sense? Directly avoid this option because thank you is coming here. Thank you so much is coming here. So directly take it out. Yeah, here bitter gerne sounds okay. Bitter nicht is again negative. It's totally wrong because we have ja yeah, totally take out. Ich telefoniere. It also doesn't sound correct because when you say no because I'm using telephone right now then you could have used something like this. Here it says yes I want to give my telephone then yeah here bitte gerne. That's the most correct one. Makes more meaning to the sentence in the front and the ya yeah here. Here bitte gerne. Ich komme aus Italien. I come from Italy. Italy and here is the word to ask. Where do you come? Where do you come from? Right? When you have a C and where do you come? You have to use was is what. So most correct one is wo here. Where do you come from? Wo. Wo is also making half meaning. Okay, so it's not the most correct one. So, Wohia, come and see is the most correct one. Wohia. Was mochten Sie trinken? Für mich bitte einen Kaffee. Und ich. So, ich is there. So, we have to find the I. The first person singular, right? First person, ich. Bitte einen Tee. So I am, I want or I take tea, a tea, right? Nims is for when somebody is talking in a second person. Do is when you have do, then you, nims is correct. And again, here is like a more, most of a, not in the present tense. And Nehman is when you have more than one person, it will sound the conjugation here. Ish Nehman is most correct one. Ish Nehma bitter einen T. So this one is the correct one. One is the first von Maria. When is the festival from Maria? Here it says Samstag. Samstag is Saturday. So whenever there is Sam's Saturday or the day, we have to start with um. Okay, um is for the time, so this is wrong. Whenever there is a day, Sunday, Saturday, here is Saturday, am um, Samstag. Mir is cold. For me, it is cold. Um, please do fenster zu. Close, right? Then uh, can can is you can close the door. Peter can this fenster so is this is like then it is like a question. It's wrong, not making correct meaning to this sentence. It's already cold, but you cannot open, open open right. You cannot open here. It says so means close. So will is for yourself right. When you write your for about you, I will ish will. So, bitte mach das Fenster zu. Please make this fair window closed. Or please close the window. Mach is correct. Was essen wir denn heute Abend? Heute essen wir. To be filled and then super. Super ends with he. So, it already gives you an, a suggestion. Uh, like to use in a D form, right? D or Eine. From the, all the options here, das, Eine, T, Ein. Das is not the right one. Directly remove it. Ein is also not the correct one. Eine Suppe or D Suppe. 
so we, you are answering like today we will eat a soup it's not this soup or a particular soup it's not a very definite soup so the is not the correct aina is most correct one so you have to understand aina is the most correct one why the is not the correct one here it does not make sense it's not the definite you are answering hi to you will eat a soup who is in the auto solution where is the auto or car key here sin c and then we have to fill here shublad feel and dang so somebody is found the key and seeing where exactly it is everything sounds more or less um because of the preposition it could be here sin z of tum shu blood you can see again here shu blood ends with e sounds more like feminine so them the them right if it is feminine there should come because of that of them makes no sense in the it's also wrong it has to be in there okay again aus them we can remove because it's shu blood so in the is more grammatically correct it's not about meaning here it is more about grammar in the because it is whenever you have a question like wo it is dative dative is for masculine them for feminine it's there in there entschuldigung one fang das konsort an bitte das konsort fangt so we already seen like for all the whenever you use time over it's like um noins in ua an all other things are not correct here so noins um noins in ua an here it makes more sense um noins in ua an so let's select that paula is das dein hund somebody asks is it your dog yeah das is you can see is it your dog dog is da hund masculine right yeah das is mein hund here is my is wrong then it is like our hund or somebody else good dog deine unsere is deine is again wrong it's not a feminine directly it's wrong das is mein hund it's for the dog not for paula it is for the dog so it's mine hund okay woher kommen sie where do you come from ich komme what is needs to be filled and then frankreich france right i come in english you will say i come from french this is really interesting one good one just note concentrate here so in english you will say i come from france Fra france right i come from but in german ich komme aus do not directly i mean convert or translate and select this one von is wrong i come from von is wrong really really wrong please use ich komme aus frankreich okay this is the correct one most of them will do this mistake so remember this one my name is mia und wie heißen sie sie are a freud so my name is mia and what is your name like how what are you called say a freud ish and then to be filled and then tom so somebody has to say i am called tom you could see ish ish is 
ish is i heisen heisen is does not suit correctly with ish wa ish wa means if you if you were called tom previously and if your name has cha- changed then you might used in the past tense or somebody is dead right doesn't suit really well so what is the correct one ish heis tom is most correct one i am called you can also see here heis and see we heis and see right on ish mache tom i make tom is also wrong so heis wow 